Okay, it is Sunday evening. Yes, I know, right? Let's see what time it is. It is just 526, y'all. I kid you not. I do not like this charm change. I hate it. I feel like I need to go on to bed. It's dark outside. Yeah, no, I'm not a fan. No. Whoever came up with this, they stupid. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's dark at 3 o'clock in the afternoon now. That ain't right. Anywho, thank you to all my new subscribers. Hey, y'all. You join me on a good day. I ain't quite as leapy as I am by the end of the week. Yeah, it gets worse. <laughs> I don't mean to scare y'all away. <laughs> um, but yeah. <laughs> Anywho, I'm trying to look to see. I know, I'm not supposed to do this when I'm doing that, but I'm trying to read comments so I can, oh, you know who that is? That is Fat Man, and I will tell you why he is locked out of this house. Hold on a minute. I locked you out. Why'd you lock me out? Because I didn't want you opening the door. I forgot I had locked it. Oh. I didn't want you opening the door. Close the door. I was hanging that up. Oh. Yeah. Right cute there, Miss Daisy. I put it there. It is a grateful thing. I got it at the Target Dollar Spot. And you actually signed what you're grateful for. It came with a little marker. And so as people come to visit in yes. our family, they're going to pick a leaf and write what you're grateful for. So that man, pick a leaf and write what you're grateful for. I put, I was grateful for God and family. Carol Beth put life. She's grateful for her life. Um, let's see what that man's going to be grateful for. It's either going to be football or NASCAR. <laughs> or he might put something sweet like his wife. Oh, look, he's adding. Now you can't add now. Oh, he wrote family. Aww. And then you can sign your name. I thought you would put like NASCAR or football, and then we're going to put and. <laughs> but I put it there. That way I wouldn't forget. Have you ever bought those things and you want to do them and it's a great idea to do them and then you forget to do them? Yeah. I bought those things. So I figured this way as they're going out the door. Oh, yeah, by the way sign our grateful thing miss betty and i know y'all have heard me talk about her in fact i mentioned her in sunday morning's thing i've used in my really good recipes come from her my sausage recipe that you do in ketchup and brown sugar miss betty my um oh, this is on here like way totally crooked Let's fix y'all. Look at your cattywampus. Hello. How you doing? Um, the Mountain Dew Apple Dumplings. Miss Betty. Um, mixed vegetable casserole. Miss Betty. Do you see where this is going? Yeah. Right, hon? Right, hon. Yeah. I think she's the one that brought the hash brown casserole to church today. It was amazing was all gone. Everything I took was basic. All my pigs in a blanket were gone. Um, somebody took my salsa home. They asked me if they could. They wanted to know where I got it from. And everybody loved it. I saw some of the kids. That was all they had was chips and salsa on their plate. I mean, you know. Um, so I let her take that on home. Because we still got a bunch in that content. Can't. Yeah, did that. Yeah, hey, new language in that canister. <laughs> um, the only thing we had left was a little bit of beans and Brian, I think, 
I actually polished those off once we got home, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but I think he did polish those all off. I am supposed to be filming a plan with me. Um, but he, oh, about the thing on the door, Miss Betty. See? Yeah. We're going to blame it on the time change, y'all. Yeah, blame it on the time change. Anywho, she has a tablecloth. To this day, she still has on her kitchen table. When you go in her house, babe, did you know that she still has that tablecloth? I did not know that. She still has this tablecloth. It is a white cotton tablecloth that she has on her kitchen table. And it's huge. Not her table, the tablecloth is huge and what she does is as you come if it's your first time to her house she will give you a sharpie marker and she lifts up the plastic protective sheet thing you know it's clear plastic and you sign your name and the date that you came and then every time you go after you write something that you're grateful for or why you're there or um, what you think about her and Mr. Dick, God rest his soul. Oh, when did he pass away? What year was that? 2016. Yeah, 2016. Uh, oh, my heart just aches every time I... They were, they were the ones that were Granny, Betty, and Paul. Um, they would take our kids, our, we homeschooled, and they would take them on Fridays. And so, but she has this tablecloth on her table. And she still makes people sign it. And whenever she gets a chance, she will take embroidery, or she used to. I don't, I don't know if her hands will let her embroider. Well, no, she still embroidery some because she does flower sack towels for the church auction. And they always go for a high price, too. Um, you know, the ones that say, like, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, she does those. Um, but she will take embroidery thread, embroidery thread and embroidery your name and the date that you did it, uh, your actual signature. And so you can go back and look. And that's why she did it real big. They have got huge tables in what should be their living room. And they can see probably, how many people could they get at all those tables, Bo? Twelve. Twelve? They've got three tables in there now. Oh, I don't. No, the big one would sit twelve. Yeah, the big table would sit twelve. She's got another long one going this way now, though that blocks off her front door. So that one would probably sit 12, so that's 24. Um, but it would it would fill up that, it would cover that table. Oh yeah, they got way more than that now. Once you, yeah, once you count kids, grandkids, great-grandkids. Um, but yeah, they are just so sweet and so special to us. But I wanted to start, and, and that made me think of that tablecloth. And I thought, you know what, a perfect time this year to start, because like I said, we were talking about pie party, and um, we are having that drawing. So yeah, this will be aired Monday. And so we will have that drawing tonight at 6 Central. Um, cut off is at 5.30. Central Standard Time, it will be cut off because that will give us a chance. And I got to thinking about what I'm going to do because several people that have already commented have commented again. And so we're just actually going to go through and put everybody's name. Instead of giving everybody a number, we're going to write everybody's name. I wait in case you commented more than once. You only have that one. Does that make sense? Um, <clears throat> and to all the new subscribers, hey, and hit that red subscribe button if this is your first time here. 
Um, I'm usually not this scattered brain. Like I said, yes, I am. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. It's Sunday. I'm always the scattered brain. Usually, it's worse. But I did tackle a project that I had been dreading. I would have rather been beat with a wet needle than tackle the project that I had tackled. Yeah, I cleaned my desk. I've still got something. Y'all remember that pile of crap I showed the other day? My crap is now clean. These are my two aprons for my giveaways. I've organized my cards. I organized my little encouragement thing. My little pen thing is organized. I can't spin it. Oh, there it goes. Um, my planner stickers are in here. I did go through. I've grabbed just some cards and some envelopes. Um, encouraging notes. Um, I figured while Carol Beth is at art, but I was so proud of that progress, y'all. That is a big feat for me that I tackled that, A, late on a Sunday afternoon for me to tackle a project. Honey, please. Yeah. Y'all are crooked now. Or I'm crooked. Maybe I just need to lean. How's that? <laughs> um playing with me and I that was kind of what got me started being I need to figure out I'd turn sound off and then. that um kind of what got me started I was sitting here um trying to do my plan with me could not find a sticker that I was looking for that one particular sticker could not find it and as I'm going through and looking through piles, I knock a pile over. Yeah. Do you ever get to the point that you're just disgusted with a mess, so you're like, okay, I'm going to tackle this one spot. And I was so overwhelmed, I didn't know where to start. I cleaned off a few things off my bulletin board. And I got sidetracked, so I cleaned a few things off my pen organizer. Got sidetracked doing that. And it just and that's the way it's been. That's why it got so out of control. And I finally thought, no, you know what I'm going to do? I'm picking this one in, this one folder, I'm cleaning it out. And if that's all I got to do is this one box. And it was our bill box, that box right there. And I thought, and I mean, it was crammed like to that, y'all. I kid you not. Papers everywhere. Um, I thought that's all I'm going to do. That's all I'm going to tackle is that one box. I'm not going to tackle anything else. Yeah, we're crooked again. Hey, we could just all lean together. Lean on me. <laughs> oh, if I lean that way, you can see that man. <laughs> Anywho, but I, I did it. I made myself just that one box. And I thought, you know, and it only took, seriously, it only took five minutes. And it was mainly garbage that needed to be burned. It was bills that I paid from August. I found some bills in there from August. I'm glad I did go through it, though. I found my auto insurance card that I was supposed to have in my, my glove box <laughs> from August. It's showing my coverage from August of this year to February of next year. Yeah. If I would have been pulled over by the Popo, for those of you that don't know, the Popo's the police. I'm just saying. Yeah. If I would have been pulled over by the Popo, they would have gotten Big Mama. I'm just saying. If you don't have insurance in Alabama, they can impound your car. They would have gotten busy. We can't let him get busy. <laughs> she might put her and they not know turn the radio up. I'm just saying. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, Bessie is my minivan. She makes a clicking noise. We took it to the mechanic 
he couldn't find out what's making the clicking noise. Told me not to worry about the clicking noise. Just turn my radio up so I can't hear it. Yeah. So, yeah, Big Mama goes jamming down the road. So I can't hear the click, 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 click. Yeah. Anywho, playing with me. Uh, we could just make the title of this one organized with the insane. <laughs> the ramblings of yeah, crazy ladies. Hey y'all. <sighs> okay. Say again, you can't make all this up. That's like today at church. Well, today is Sunday. Y'all are seeing it on Monday. I was eating a piece of pecan pie, and we were talking about how good that pecan pie was. It had to have been homemade. That or it was a priester's pecan pie. Did nobody make that? I mean, nobody bought that pie. Yeah, that was a homemade pie. The filling was too thick. It was good and thick. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -mm. Yeah, it was good. But then that begs the question, like I asked the other day, has Mrs. Smith, you know, the frozen pies, Mrs. Smith and Mr. Edwards, if they ever met? And then it occurred to me today when I made the comment, has Mrs. Smith ever met Mr. Edwards? And then all of a sudden, I couldn't help it, my pie hole utters out, that's how we got little Debbie. <laughs> yeah, at church. But then our pastor chimed in. He and Sister Schubert's just sitting real quiet over in the corner. <laughs> yeah. Hey, y'all. How you doing? Mm-hmm. Okay. Play with me. We are now in November. November, November. We aren't too far in November, but... And usually I try to go with me out. It's a hot mess already, y'all. Hot mess already. Yeah. But I figured as long as I had some just note cards, encouraging notes, scrap paper, that type of thing in my bag at all times. Um, the Lord led me to write someone an encouraging note today that um, they just need to pick me up. And luckily, pray, praisefully, I happen to have in the back of my planner, I've got like a little pocket thingy in the back. Yeah. Um, and I usually keep like extra little cards and stuff in there or in the zip pouch. I've got like a zipper, zipper pouch I will keep it in. Um, and luckily I had that, but I thought, you know, if the Lord would have prompted me to do more than one, I would have been, I would have been in trouble. So the Lord prompted me when I was cleaning out my crap to make up. Anywho, my week. This week, I didn't think it was going to be busy, but guess what, y'all? Yeah, it's going to be busy. Um, I did remember, praisefully, when we, me and baby girl went to the library the other day, like I said, we get a printout of what books we've checked out when they're due. And I have started clipping it to the little um, inset thing that goes clips into my planner, and I just move it week to week. And that way, I'm not going to screw up again and forget library books. But Monday is looking, um, I've got to go to the drugstore. I'm completely out of my stiff person's medicine. Yeah. So, and that's not good. So, i got to get it. That's probably why my back is about to kill me. Um, a library book that Carol Bath got from Interlibrary Loan is in... We gotta go pick it up. She has art class, and then I've got to take supper to a lady from our church. 
Brian's going to cook our supper for us. He's going to make up that salmon that I bought from Sam's. So, you might get like a cook with me from him. Because I don't know how to do salmon. He don't know how to do salmon. But we're going to figure it out. <laughs> He's been wanting salmon. Bless his heart. Um, Tuesday, we're going to go boat and clean the house. That's the only thing me and baby girl will have down for Tuesday, boat and clean house. Um, Wednesday, I've got a doctor's appointment, and I've gotten to make Brian a loaded baked potato casserole, and I'm definitely filmed it, filming that one for Friday. Um, it is amazing. Thursday, I've got my, my gamma treatment. Friday, we're going to be home. In fact, I've got a doctor that is going to call me. Um, we actually set up a phone appointment. Thank Jesus. Because I really didn't want to have to go to another doctor. I mean, you know. Come on. Um, but they're just going to phone in some of my blood test results and everything. Saturday. What do we have Saturday? <laughs> me too. And then Sunday is Veterans Day and we'll have church. Um, and I think that's it. This is kind of how it looks once I got all my... I'm still in... Whoa! Y'all just did a 360. Y'all are like Sean White and you didn't even know it. Look at you. <laughs> um, I'm still in my earring conjure... Oh, crap. Um... See, I just stuck everything that needs to go somewhere or I need to do something with. I've got a call about some medical bills, some dentist bills. I know we paid that hospital bill. Here's my insurance card. Yeah, it's just stuff that I need. It's my need to's. I need to get a binder clip for it. This is my, my cover. Got it with my YouTube channel name. Yeah, I'm still loving my cover. It is an Erin Condren. This is my first time being in one, and I am still trying to decide if I like it or not. A, it's my first time being in a horizontal. I've always been in a vertical, and I'm liking the horizontal. The verticals would always have like the three small little boxes, and it was never enough room for me to really write. I, I felt confined by those little boxes. So I do like the horizontal. But like today when I was trying to do my sermon notes, there was no extra pages in this to do my sermon notes. I have to have a separate notebook for sermon notes. My, my In the Leafy Tree Tops, my Mother's Who Know Planner, there was a section for sermon notes in it. Those were the planners I gave away. Hey, Lizzy. Um, oh, Leanne, were you my, who was my other winner? Oh, sweet hannies. Heather, y'all, blame it on the rain. I don't know. Time changed something. Anywho, those were mother, and that's, yeah, I was going to try to stick it out with this one. He's bringing his foxy back in. Um, and it, it goes all the way through December, hey, hon. Hey, hon. It goes all the way through yeah. December, that man's there, December 2019. And I can go ahead and tell you, Big Mama ain't going to be able to, to hold it out that long. No. Like I said, I am used to the mothers who know. I love where you can have your sermon notes. You had a, a section in that month for your whole month's menu and shopping list. Um, right now, I'm still trying to get used to this little thing. Sharpie marker does not come off as well as they say with rubbing alcohol. I'm just going there. So I was taping an index card to it. But then I couldn't use the shopping list side. So this thing was a waste of my money. I'm just saying. Um, 
the habit tracker one, same thing. A waste of my money. I'm just saying. Dry erase marker, you put it on here and then you close the book up. Yes, yeah, she needs to be fed. He was asking if Miss Fox has been fed yet. She needs Din Din. She's licking. Um, but yeah, I, so my personal opinion, and this is just my personal opinion, and neither one of them are sponsored. I'm going back to my In the Leafy Tree Tops planner. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I know they have the changeable covers now for those planners. Um, I got this pink planner, uh, this pink cover from Erin Condren, and then I also got, as one of my free gifts, um, this one, the bloom where you were planted, and then I had my name put on it. This was mine and Lisa Connell's saying, bloom where, yeah, bloom where you're planted. And it had the back cut. This is what the inside front looks like. And then this is what the inside back, and then the back cover. So I'm hoping um, the little things line up. I was trying to see. This is an In the Leafy Tree Tops bookmark that I have had for years. I had my morning routine written on it and my nighttime routine written on it in Sharpie marker. And I have been trying to see if these little boogers line up. And they do and they don't. It looks like, I mean, I probably, and I have squoes. Yeah, that's a word. I squoes. I squoes it in there. Isn't that a word? Squoes. I squoes the oranges. Yeah. Squoes. I, squ I put it in the thing. Yeah. It fit. It was tight fit, but it did fit. So, I'm hoping my covers will at least fit. But I think that might be. Yeah. But um, I think I'm going to try the horizontal in it. But I don't, I don't see me making it a whole entire calendar year. I've been in this one since. Um. September. Yeah, I, I didn't start it until September. Yeah. So three months is long enough that if I was going to like it, I would have done liked it by now. Three months is also long enough to know that I ain't going to like it. I'm just saying. So I did try. I just... Today I forgot to take my special different notebook to church so I had to write my sermon notes on a scrap piece of paper I ain't gonna keep up with that scrap piece of paper yeah no um, I already got too much paper in my life anywho so yeah my plan with me has been like a plan of review it help. It did help me see though. Of you know what this is. Hey, fat man. Hey. Fat man's hungry. On Sunday night, we usually just kind of scavenge. Sca sca scavenge. How do you say it? We hunt for food. <laughs> it's that. It's Sunday snack night. Big Mama don't cook on Sundays, especially if we ate at church. Now I am hungry. And my pie hole will be getting something put in it. But it'll either be like that, man. What, you got a sea mitch? Yeah. Peanut butter and jelly? Yeah. I thought I smelled the peanut butter when he walked by. Yeah. It's either going to be that or a bowl of raisin bran. If I'm going to get a bowl, I might better get my bowl now. Because 
They say the lot raisin bran. Just say it. They won't let me know raisin bran. And there ain't never no milk. I just go in there too. Yeah. Let's see. Hey, hon. <laughs> Love you, dear. What? This this is how yeah. Alright, you gotta do it. I love you. Uh, you all right. Yeah, I get the oh you alright. <laughs> Anywho, so that I guess that's my plan with me. It's been more like I said, a plan review and me run my pie hole. That seems like all I do nowadays. But here you go. Find that one project that you've been putting up, that you've been dreading, just start. Just think, okay, I'm going to tackle this one part of it. Break it up into, break it up into sections, break it up into parts, whatever you got to do. Just start. And it won't be near as bad, near as scary as you think. And to those of you, oh, I'll have to definitely go back and look at my comments and I'm writing your name down. She had made the comment that she had thought about doing the pie party, but she was afraid that no one would show up. Invite people. Honey, I guarantee you they will show up. It's pie. Who don't love pie? Come on, girlfriend. I'd come. Invite Big Mama. If you at least in the tri-state tri area, yeah, Big Mama would make a road trip. Yeah, how you doing? Um, now I'm sorry. Okay, I just got a thing. Does Big Mama look like she'd ever shop at a place called Loft? I know y'all have heard of it. It's like Talbots. Now, see if you go into the thrift store. And you see a tag that says Talbot's on it. You snatch that booger up, because that means expensive. I'm just saying. Yeah. If it says Liz Claiborne, snatch it up. That means expensive. See, Big Mama goes to the thrift store. Nine times out of ten. That's where Big Mama gets her big clothes. That or the Costco and the Sam's when they mark them down. I got my Juju shorts from Sam's Club. I can't wear them out of the house. I'm just saying. Yeah. How did we go from planners to Juju shorts? I don't know. We're going to blame it on the cat. Oh, and my Yankee Candle thing, y'all. That classic denim. Do you smell it? Yeah. It smells good in here. Yeah. So all y'all that re recommended the Yankee Candle wax melts, thank you. Yeah, that classic denim is wonderful. So comment down below on different smells that you like. I'm kind of looking for like a, um, maybe a Christmassy smell. I don't, nothing piney, um, and I'd like to kind of do something other than apple cinnamon. Seems like I always get stuck with apple cinnamon. Those are the only two things that you think of at like winter time. What else would be a winter smell? Nothing that smells like a tree. He don't know. I, I, I just, I don't know why I don't like tree smell. The only thing I can think of, the reason why I don't like, ooh, my eyes. The reason why I don't like tree smells, when I was in kindergarten, <laughs> bless you, he'll do it again. They'll come in either twos or threes. That ain't the last one. It will happen again. Um, when I was in kindergarten, they used pine saw. And I'm not talking about like used it. I'm talking about used it. 
Yes. Didn't they? Yeah. He remembers. Oh, my sweet hannies, y'all. And this was back in the day. What no warning about smells and toxics. And, mm -mm. and that might be why to this day I cannot stand the smell of pine or any kind of like tree. Mm -mm, no. no, 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 no. Big Mama, no. Mm -mm. That and for some reason vanilla. I've never been, mm -mm, I can't handle anything vanilla. So, but comment down below, what is your favorite Christmas Yankee Candle scent? That I need to maybe look for some wax melts. Or if you know if Tractor Supply has something other than, um, like a tree. Like I said, I saw that balsam balsam wood or balsam forest or something no no all right I, th I think that's it I've done rambled way too much yeah it'll probably be edited who knows better I'll redo it hey hon <laughs> he knows I'm crazy He's not disagreeing with me. <laughs> yeah, he never disagreed. And Miss Foxy. I think she thinks he has got something still to eat. And she's done been fed. Miss Foxy, you done been fed, girlfriend. All right, so that is it for tonight. Put on those pearls, put on that smile, and y'all be sweet. And, yeah. And if you use a different planner, if you don't use an air condren, and you don't use a Mothers Who Know, but you use one, um, comment down below and let me know what you use. And if you like it. I thought about the Simplified Planner by Emily Lay, which I love that book. Y'all have done seen me talk about that book. Um, yeah, if you have a different one, and you can give me, hey, he's upset with Foxy. Oh, okay, he's not mad. I was going to say, she was in there whining, that's why I had to get up and leave. She was whining. He's having to take her back out. She caught a chipmunk today, y'all. Yes, she killed the chipmunk, that's why I'm looking up. Bless his heart. Um, he, she did not eat it. We, we got it away from her before she ate it. Yeah, we didn't mean for her to kill it. Um, but yeah, but if you have a planner, comment down below and let me know. Let me know if you like it, what kind is it, and then, um, hey, what was my other question? I did ask something else. I'll find out when I'm editing. See, I done forgot, y'all. It'll be all right. It's all good. It's all good. But yeah, put on your pearls. Put on that smile and y'all be sweet. And I will announce the winners. Probably whenever y'all see this, I will add a extension to this and announce the winner. So, to, yeah, I'll just make my little spiel then. So, See you to be it. Okay, to the to the winners of Bo Sutton and Sherry Madden. Congratulations. Um, comment down below with your information and that way I can get it mailed to you. So yeah, Bo Sutton and Sherry Madden. They were our winners. No. Yeah.